what's happening? Oh, it is your boy, Quarter Boy the Cheese, and we are back in Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered on the Nintendo Switch. So we're picking up where we left off in the uh, last episode. Getting ready to do some uh, sea warfare. Get him, What the good. bloody hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. We need more speed. Bend them all. Full sail. All right, let's see what we got here. And the ship can really go whenever it's at full sail, my guy. Ease her off. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring around Full broadside, stop. and when all guns are on target, call fire. Okay, so call the ZR to fire the cannon. Done, boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Big ready! And fire! Direct hit! Some old powder in there! Good! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Impressive. Hold and release the other one. <laughs> you are a fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jet tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your pick! What do we do? No else but to fight back! Sink the bastard! Use the swivels on him, Captain! Make ready, boys! No. Sail! 
Big Swattles, another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? of how bad it was going to be.
because of the uh the issues that we've been having with this game but the seafarer battle was really actually fairly smooth got a new email said to leave the animus to read it I got him all of them you get what I need and I'll give them to you simple you got a ship could find them all to boot who is that man him some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd nonsense really but he doesn't hurt no one so I'll leave him be Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned, he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now, I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. So that man... He weeks, and not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? All right, so where are we going? What's going on now? Put them on. Uh oh, we got them. We, oh, it's time, my boys. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Hey, let's go, my guy. We are here. We are now assassins. Let's get it. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. All right, looks like we're headed to the, to the Big Apple. Just a heads up. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Two, three. Yep, read you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pick. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice strong signal. Yo. 
assume we were supposed to be up there. No matter, we'll just we'll just travel along the ground here. Maybe not. Maybe we gotta climb up this thing right here. I felt like this game would uh, run so much smoother on a on a PC. Like when I was playing a uh, Unity on the uh, PC, like yo, the this the frame rate was smooth and steady, my guy. I appreciate the fact that they are willing to um, at least try to bring the games to home consoles. Like even though it's not the uh, like you would say the optimum way to enjoy their game like it wouldn't be the full enjoyment that um oh that's a hold still it's a lovely view <laughs> seriously sean fuck you what he said fuck you sean you old sack of the <sighs> we won't say what the what sack of he is just know that he is a sack. That man slid under, almost slid off of the uh, freaking uh, the uh, building. Yo, this thing's moving on us. Yo, suicide. I thought I could reach that blue. Um, Way. I thought we could um, make it to that next beam and he just like completely missed it so that either tells me that that wasn't the way to go or that we didn't jump at the right from the right point yeah so apparently we can't jump to that beam We have to go to that beam right here. That has to be our spot over there. It's really far away. There we go. Apparently we weren't in the right spot to make that uh there, there we go. Now imagine doing this stuff in real life, my god, I'd be scared of this crap. This man's doing this with like no harness or, of, of any sort. Yo, imagine Jesus. how much. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively uh, paced. Shut up, Sean. Yes, tell this man to keep his uh, trap shut. That's not sliding under. I thought he could uh, slide under that. Let's go this way. There, we can't go that way, so it's definitely that way we're supposed to go. There we go. I wonder why he didn't do it the first time when I was trying to do it. Frame rates could be a lot better in this game than what they are. Like it's not smooth at all. It's like you can definitely tell it starts to uh, to chop itself up once you start get once you get going pretty quickly. of the lit up crane you should be high enough to make the jump should it'll be fine don't worry 
Well, you might want to worry a less more. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! A joke! Bro. It was a joke! Or was it? <clears throat> that man... Yo, when I get back, remind me to slap him in his motherfucking head. It's conveniently lit up for us to uh, land here. You would think that they would only have the lights on when there was actually a helicopter coming. So bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Yeah, give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. You know what we're about to do? We're about to go be back in, uh, in Connor, my guy. Let's go. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Connor, spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? The Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Xing to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Anandogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, 
claiming we had to leave. He said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Satchum, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. You have a name. Do you know who is responsible? He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft. Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Defend my convoy. They said meet with somebody. I wonder if it'll show me my uh, objectives again. Hmm, that's not it. He said something about going to um, Boston. Maybe we can fast travel. All right, so we're gonna fast travel because we're getting really close to the end of the episode here, so. We'll save ourselves some time. Oh, I just went the wrong way. I forgot it faces you, um, facing the open area before you leave. So here we go. Soon a horse comes. Yeah. I'm assuming we can fast travel to Boston too while we're here. Heck yeah, we were fast traveling all over the, all over the uh, East Coast right here. So we gotta go this way. Notoriety uh, level one already. We could probably get incognito if we um So where are we going exactly? Okay, so we're headed that direction. There's a bunch of way viewpoints. At least it tells you if you've synced the viewpoint or not. That's useful as well. What's this over here? There's something red right there. It's like a restricted area. I right, won't bother those guys at all. as long as we're um, no, not notoriety too they um, it looks like we're incognito though alright people we're basically at the end of the episode right here so what we'll do is we'll stop and uh, we'll resume here in the next episode and we'll actually go to uh, see what this main mission is alright thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the uh, next episode. I quit.